This is one of the great honors that comes with being a member of Congress. And the Kansans have given me the opportunity to serve the United States Senate. That gives me an opportunity that almost no one else has to help these young people uh, receive a nomination and be admitted and to succeed at one of our academies. Well, I just recently graduated from the Air Force Academy. I'm going to be starting undergrad pilot training here in a few weeks. If I can give one piece of advice, it would be to uh, find a purpose for what you do. We always told him that it had to be his decision. As the Air Force advisor also told him that take every bit of time that you need to make that decision because it's a huge commitment. But he just decided that that's what he wanted to do. And we were very proud of him for making that decision. They've got to know that's what they want to do. And as a parent, that's why, if you're thinking ahead, even several years ahead, preparing your kids to make decisions is the best thing you can do from a young age. Because it's, I just remember thinking no 17-year-old can be completely prepared to make this decision. But they do it. It's a fabulous opportunity. We've tried to come up with a process that uh, allows the very best to rise to the occasion and receive a nomination from a member of Congress. When you have the opportunity to see and talk to and evaluate the people, the, the, the men and women that want to dedicate their lives to the military, and, and this commitment that they're making is a dedication, it is, for me, is one of the most rewarding days of the year to see the commitments and the convictions that they have these people that really I think could do anything they wanted to do. I mean there isn't any career that they couldn't go into and be successful in. So when I started applying for colleges I didn't know anything about military academies. Ultimately I really wanted to go to an Ivy League school but I wasn't sure how I was going to make that happen. What I did know is that I wanted an excellent education, I wanted a challenge, and I wanted an adventure away from home. When you choose to leave the military your service to the nation is not done. Whether it's after five years or after 30 years of military service, you still have things that you can give back to your nation. Here in Kansas, we have a need for leaders to come back here, to run businesses, to start businesses, and to provide leadership to our communities. This group of young men and women uh, is exactly what I need to be reminded about what is important and what uh, opportunities I have to try to make a difference on your behalf, on behalf of Kansans and on behalf of Americans. So while there's a lot of work to be done, I've assigned most of that work to a group of about 20 citizens of our state to help me make the decisions necessary. They've had significant experiences in their lives and they've made significant differences in the lives of other people. I'm of the view that while it's, a, a, it's, an, it's an honor to serve Kansans as a United States Senator, uh, I'm of the view that we change the world one person at a time. In fact, we change the world one soul at a time. In your case, my guess is it's parents, it's teachers, maybe grandparents. People have decided to invest in you, and uh, we honor those folks who got you to the point in your life in which you're now considering uh, serving your nation.